Welcome to Park Bedard in St. Lazar. This is the gold medal game of the 2021 Lac St. Louis Regionals, the U13B division. The off island champion, Gonhawagi Warhawks, the road team taking on the Pierre Fall Yankees, or the West Island Yankees, sorry, who are the on island champions, having survived a 5 4 scare yesterday against the, the West Island Red Sox. That was on Friday. So, Pierre Fall Yankees, Gonhawagi Warhawks. Starting on the mound for the Yankees, there you see him wearing number 83, Philip Duhane. He'll take on Jordan Norton at the top of the lineup. So Ronnie Stacy keeping things just like he was for the first couple of uh, playoff games. He had Cade Stacy leading off, but changed things when Cade was unavailable for the quarterfinal game against Mercier. And here is Jordan Norton stepping into bat for the Warhawks. It looks like uh, Jaden Norton on deck, and I would assume Casey Delaboost in the hole. Let's get this championship game going. That's ball one to Doran. First pitch thrown at 9.59 local time. Want to know the count on Norton? Doran hits this one well. Knocked down. And that'll be a play at first, which is settled in. Good start for the Yankees as Mateo Rambola makes the play at first. There's one down here in the top of the first. So here's Jaden Norton, the number two hitter. So three righties to start. Norton swings and misses here, nothing in one to count. Doran hit that one well, but it was right at first base. Norton hits this one into left center field. That's going to fall. And that is the base hit for Norton, and the Warhawks have a runner aboard with one down here in the top of the first. <laughs> Here's Delaboost, the three hitter. One and oh. Rustin Dahoe Gabriel on deck. He, of course, the one who hit the ball 278 feet out in right center field the other night. That swung on and missed, and now the runner's going to go. It comes off the hop, the throw to second. She's safe. She's in there. And the Warhawks have a runner in scoring position. Wilson Bad Badger in at second for the Yankees. Brian D'Alessandro Kofsky, 45, in at left field, and that is a strikeout. And there are two down in the top of the first. Remember the head to head meeting during the regular season, the Warhawks didn't score after the second inning. They only scored three in what was a 12 3 win for Pierre Fall. That was when Ronnie Stacy was not able to be at the game. So here's Rustin Dahoe Gabriel. Takes ball one outside, one to know the count. Gabriel hits this one off the edge of the bat. That's going to drop into the outfield, and now he's going to keep going. Norton's going to score. Gabriel's in at second, going for third now. And Russian Dahoe Gabriel has an RBI triple, and the Warhawks have opened the scoring. It's 1 0 Gahnawage. So here's Cage McCumber. who was two for two the other night against St. Lazar in that 13-2 win. Swings through strike one here, it's 0-1. One, one. Warhawks have a 1-0 lead. Dustin Dahoe Gabriel with an RBI triple. One and one. Cade Stacy on deck.
McCumber not able to make contact with this one, and it's one and two. And McCumber hits this one well, and it's caught on a rope. A deep center field by Charles Poulet, and that is out number three. So the Warhawks score one, and they take a 1-0 lead into the bottom of the first. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. We welcome you back to Park Bedard for this, the championship game of the U13B division of Lac St. Louis. Gonhawagi Warhawks won. And the Pierre Fall Yankees, no score coming up to bat. Nico Palladini leading things off for the Yanks. They'll be facing Jada Norton. Ball one inside and upstairs by Palladini. Jackson Norton at first, Cade Stacy at second, Russell Ndahoe Gabriel at short, it looks like. Jaden Norton on the mound. That's 2 0. Jordan Norton behind the plate, catching. Brad Scoops in left, Lahash in center, Cage McCumber in right. And it looks like Dalio Boost is at third. The 2 0. And now it's three balls, no strike, uh, strikes on Palladini. Remember the last game these two teams played, it was 5-3 heading into the top of the fifth. It was a very low-scoring game. And there's Jaden Norton finding the strike zone. Outside corner, three balls and a strike. Norton's 3-1. Fouled back, and now it's a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Full count offering here to Palladini. Norton digging in. It well to second. Stacy off the hop, throws it to first in time, and there's one up and one down for the Yankees here in the bottom of the first. Baladini goes down, and here comes Anthony Moore, 44, for the Yankees. Fouled back in its 0-1 on Moore. Yankees 5-4 winners over the Pierre Fall Red Sox on Friday night to clinch the on-island portion of this region and a berth in today's game. The Warhawks 13-2 over St. Lazar Red. Off the plate and we've got an even count here. One ball, one strike. Got a triple header, header scheduled for today. U15's coming up at 1. Swung on and missed, and it's 1 and 2. They'll be playing against Sioux Lounge. And the U18's also scheduled for 4 o'clock tonight. They are also playing against Sioux Lounge. And what should be a grudge match there. On the ground to third. And it's knocked down. And they're not going to have a play. So Moore beats it out, and the Yankees have a runner aboard. So here's Julian Feta, Feta coming in. Ball one in the dirt, one to no on Feta. Julian Feta, Moore's on first. That's in there for strike one. One and one on Feta.
Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ball two and the runner's going. Norton throws it. Safe at second on a close call. Good throw by Norton. Very, very close play at second base. Runner in scoring position for the Yankees with one out. Ball two upstairs. Three and one, sorry, on Feta. Foul back, we've got a full count, three and two. William Bajer on deck. Here's the pitch, the full count offering from Norton. Hit well into deep left. That falls in front of Braskoop, and he's going to throw it. Gabriel's got a strike here. He will hold it off, though, and the Yankees have tied the game at one. And here comes William Bajer, 46. Ball one in the dirt. Norton throws it. And Bajer steals, or sorry, uh, Feta steals second base. Ball is behind Bajer, and it's 2 0. Oh. Three and zero on Bajer. One one tie here in the bottom of the first at Park Bedard. That strike one and it's three and one on Bajer. That's ball four. So Bajer walks. And now stepping in to bat for the Yankees. It's like 60, 84, sorry. Matthew Markoff. Strike one, good looking pitch. Curved in and caught the corner, nothing in one. On Markov. Swung on and missed, that's strike two. And Norton quickly ahead in the count, nothing in two. Swung on and missed. A three-pitch masterful piece by Jada Norton. And here's Carter Roy. Three-pitch strikeout by Norton, two down. First pitch swinging, and it's popped. It's caught by Rusanagete Lahash. As uh, the ball kind of got lost up for us here in the gray clouds. Not for Lahash. The Yankees score one. We've got a tie game after one. Top second we go. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to the top of the second inning. 1-1 one, one score here in this U13B championship game. Cade Stacy stepping into bat to lead off the second. And Kate hits this one on the ground that finds a hole into center field that goes. Stacy rounds first, and he will head back to first base. It's a leadoff single for Cade Stacy. And here comes Ethan Braskoop. It's Cade one for one on the game, getting that leadoff single. 
Brascoop stepping into bat. Brascoop off the bat, come back or rate the, the pitcher. They throw Brascoop out at first and Stacy advances to second base. So the runner moves over. And there's one down. So here's Jackson Norton stepping into bat now. Norton two hits in the game the other night against the St. Lazar Red Mustangs and swings through strike one here, it's nothing in one. Fouled back. Lily Barnes on deck for the Hawks. One out here in the top of the second inning. 1-1 one, one score line. Inside. One and two on Jackson Norton. And Cade Stacy playing a little cat and mouse game with the catcher for the Yankees. Norton hits this one foul, and the bat will keep going here. It's one and two. One one tie. Warhawks and the Yankees. It's the top of the second here in the championship game of the U13 B division. Norton skies this one on the infield. That's going to be caught by Duhame, and there are two down here in the top of the second. And here comes Lily Barnes, who was two for two the other night in the semifinal game against St. Lazar. Duhame against Barnes. Rosenegete Lahash on deck. That's in there for strike one. One one tie. That misses. One and one on Barnes. Gray overcast day here and hoping that the weather holds out. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. The 1-1 one, one to Barnes. Swung on and missed and it's a 1-2 count now. That'll miss inside, two and two. Three deuces, two, two and two. And they're gonna throw it a second and it gets it to the outfield. So Kate Stacy gets a free base. Cannot steal home at Pee Wee B. You can do it in Bantam, not Pee Wee B. So it's two and two on Barnes. And that swung on and foul tipped into the mitt for strike three. And that is going to do it for the top of the second. 1-1 one, one, tie game heading into the bottom of two. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to Park Bedard here in St. Lazar. As we get to the bottom of the second, it's a 1-1 one, one tie. And leading off this inning is Mateo Rambola. Rambola against Jada Norton. Ready, 
hit off the edge of the bat and foul, nothing in one. Some defensive changes for the Warhawks. Nashton Mayo's in left. Lily Barnes is in right. Lahash stays in center. Cade Stacy second. Jackson Norton on first. Rustin Delaway Gabriel at short. Delabu stays at third. Norton stays behind the plate. Jada Norton stays on the mound. So Brass Goop and Cage Becumber sitting this inning out. Off the plate, one and one the count. It well, foul ball though. It's just a long strike. And now two strikes on Rambola. <laughs> Philip Duhame on deck. Off the edge of the bat. And it's going to get through. Gabriel not able to get there, and it's a leadoff single for Rambola. Well, Markov is actually in. Duhame hit back in the first. Off the edge of the bat, and it gets through to the outfield. And now runners are on the corners for the Yankees. First pitch swinging. And Pierre Fall threatening with Charles Poulet stepping into bat. Off the edge of the bat, it lands in front of the pitcher. They throw to first, in time, they throw home. And he scores, and the Yankees take a lead on a sack. It's two to one. So here's Lucas Douth. Runner on third and one out here. Douth hits this one off the edge of the bat and fouled for a nothing in one count. 2 1 Pierre Fall runner on third with one out. In the dirt. One and one. That's in there, and it's one and two on Douth. Norton's one, two. Upstairs, even count, two and two. The two, two pitch. And now stepping into bat is D'Alessandro Krofsky. Runner on second, or runner on third with two down, and that's strike one to Krofsky. Swung on and miss, and it's nothing in two on Krofsky. Can Norton get out of the bottom of the second by surrendering just one? The 0-2 pitch. That's in the dirt. One and two. Two to one, Pierre Fall, bottom of the second. This game brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo, home of the nine Grand Slam. Here's the one two pitch. Upstairs and away, and we've got an even count now on Kofsky. Two balls, two strikes. Jade is 2-2. Two -two. Ooh, it misses, and we've got a full count. 3-2. and two. 
Norton's 3-2. That's ball four. And Kofsky earns the walk. Now stepping into bat is for strike one here. On William Moray, 59. Moray now down to the count 0 2. And Doran forces Kofsky back to first. Jada's 0 2 pitch. Upstairs. It's one and two. Rosanna Gete Lahash is going to lead things off for the Hawks in the top of the third. The one two pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's going to do it for the bottom of the second. The Yankees take the lead. It's 2 1 Pierrefall after two. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. We welcome you back to Park Bedard in St. Lazar. Top of the third, two to one lead for the Pierre Fall Yankees. Leading the Gunnawagi Warhawks. Rosena Gete Lahash leading things off here in the top of the third. Lahash, Mayo, and Joran Norton do up for Gunnawagi here in this top inning. Ball one. One and zero. Oh. Each the Warhawks scored one in the top of the first. The Yankees have scored one each in the bottom of the first and bottom of the second. And that's where the lead is right now. Two one. Duhame on the mound. And Rosanegete swings at something he is probably not going to like. It's an even count here. One and one. But it's just the first strike. Rosanegete went three and two-third innings in the quarterfinal against Mercia, giving up just one earned run. And it's in the dirt, two and one. <laughs> Upstairs, three balls and a strike on Rosanegete Lahas. Top of the third inning. Lahash on the ground. It gets through to the outfield. Lahash takes his turn, and Rosa Negete Lahash has a leadoff single here in the top of the third inning. So here's Nashton Mayo, two for five in the regionals for the nine year olds. First year Mosquito player called up. Here in Pee Wee. It's about a four year age gap between Duhame and Mayo, and they're playing in the same game. It's unbelievable what the regionals can bring here. Ball one, and now Lahash is taking off. Rosanagete Lahash has the steal. Stolen base, and the Warhawks have a runner in scoring position. Mayo swings and misses here. It's one and one. Jordan Norton on deck for the Hawks. He's 0 for 1. Mayo hits this one well off the pitcher. Nashton Mayo beats it out. He's got a single. And Jordan Norton's coming up the bat with two runners on. Jordan Norton 0 for 1 had that highlight real play in the semis where he just outweighed the catcher and Air Jordan his way over the top to score what was the final run of that game. Yeah. 
Duhame sets. Norton off the ground. Jordan beats it out. And the game is tied 2-2 and Gunawagi has two aboard. Good hustle down the first baseline by Jordan Norton and here comes Jada Norton. She is one for one with a single and a score. 2-2 tie here at Park Bedard. Jada first pitch swinging, fair ball into the outfield. Nash and Mayo's gonna stay and the bases are loaded. And into bat is Casey Delaboost, 0 for 1, struck out in the first. Rustin Dahoe Gabriel on deck. Gonawagi with one in on this, in this inning. Delaboost represents what would be the fifth run. That's strike one, curving inside and catching the inside corner. 0-1. Swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Hit well into right center. That's going to drop. And that's going to get by the center fielder. One run scores. Jordan Norton coming home. He scores. They're going to send the third runner home. The throw. Scores! Bases clearing triple 5 2 Warhawks! <laughs> Casey Delaboos drives in three runs. That's the fourth run of the inning. And the Yankees take a timeout. Russ and Dahoy Gabriel on deck. Nobody out. And I'm very sure Gonawagi's got that jolt here. Four runs in the top of the third. Nobody out. Cage McCumber coming up after Russ here, if it gets to him. 5-2 Warhawks leading. Five two Gunawagi, four runs in. I'd be surprised if they pitched to him here because there's four runs in and two open bases. Swings through strike one. So they are gonna take him on. Four runs in for the Hawks. Five two Gunawagi leading here in the top of the third. the plate. One and one. William Moray down the line here and right. Gabriel hits his one through the outfield and the Warhawks have maxed out in the top of the fourth, third. 6-2 Gonawage Yankees coming up to bat. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to Park Bedard. Top of the lineup coming up for the Pierrefonds Yankees. 6-2 Warhawks leading here in the bottom of the third inning. So here comes Nico Palladini, 0 for 1, grounded out back in the first inning. Jada Norton commencing her third inning of work. Some uh, changes positionally for the Warhawks. Uh, the same outfield remains, except now 
Mayo's, yeah, the same outfield remains. Dax and Norton's in at first. There's strike one, by the way. Kate Stacy at second, Gabriel at short, and now Jordan Norton has moved to third. Sorry, right, uh, Brascoop has moved into left. Here's the 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right back to Jada. One down here in the bottom of the third. So here's Anthony Moore. He singled, stole the base, and scored back in the bottom of the third. 6-2, Gahnawagi leading with one down. Ball one. Here you see Barnes here in uh, right making the shift. So instead of hugging that right field line, she's going to come closer to center. The heavy shift is going on on the other way. Doesn't always work, but you go with the percentages. That swung on and missed. Even count here. One ball, one strike. Now Ronnie Stacy telling Barnes to move in a little bit towards her left. The 1-1. One, one. That's upstairs, and it's two balls and a strike. 6-2 Warhawks leading. No word on any cancellations later on today, so we're hoping to get all three game, games in here today. Changeup sends Moore off his feet, and it's 3-1 and one the count here. Hit in the air to sh the infield. That is caught by Jackson Norton, and there are two outs. And here's Julian Feta, 0 for 1, or sorry, 1 for 1 with a single and an RBI. Swung on and missed. Nothing and one the count. 6 2 Warhawks leading. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two balls and a strike on Feta. <laughs> Fouled back. And we've got an even count now. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Jaden Norton, one out, one strike away from getting out of the bottom of the third. Her 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. And foul. They're just going to redo it. Pitch number six of the at-bat coming up now. U15's getting ready for action after this. They'll be taking on the Soulange Cougars in the gold medal game. The 2-2. Hit well to short. That gets going to find a way through. Lahash knocks it down. And that is a base hit for Feta to keep this inning going. And here comes... William Badger, Badger, sorry, walked back in the first. No official at bats. Ball one, and Badger watches. That is going to be a steal for Feta. Badgers coming in to bat with a runner in scoring position now in a 1-0 count. Foul back. We've got an even count here, 1-1. One one. We've noticed that some of these batters for the Yankees are late on the swings. Hence why you're seeing all the foul balls. Two and one. Hit to third, that's going to get through to right left field. And the Yankees have made it 6-3. to three. It's an RBI single for Badger. 
And from one strike remaining in the inning to a base hit, which drives in the first run of the inning for West Island, or Pierfall, it's now 6-3. And here's the pitcher, Philip Duhame, 0 for 1, struck out back in the bottom of the second inning, or the bottom of the first inning. Two and 0, and now it's a stolen base for Bajer. Strike one at the knees, two and one the count. Swung on and missed, and it's an even count. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a two two. Even count now. Full one, I should say, at that. Three balls, two strikes. Norton sets one strike away from getting out of this inning. The 3 2. Hit well to Gabriel at short, who makes the catch on the line drive. The Yankees score one. That's going to do it for the bottom of the third. 6 3 Warhawks leading. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. We welcome you back to Park Bedard. Three innings complete. Top of the fourth. This game brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo. The Warhawks on top. Six to three over the Pierrefall Yankees. Cage McCumber stepping into bat and taking ball one off the plate. There is the new pitcher, J Julian Feda, 52. So, Duhame goes three. And it's 2-0 oh here on Cage McCumber. McCumber, Brascoop, and Jackson Norton into bat for the Warhawks here in the top half of the fourth inning. That's strike one. Two and one the count. Three and one. Three, to, three and one the count. Cade Stacy on deck, and then Ethan Brascoop will follow him. The three one to Cage McCumber. Ball four, and McCumber draws a leadoff walk here in the top of the fourth inning. And here is Cade Stacy, one for one with a single. Upstairs and hot inside, 1-0. and Poulet's in center. Kofsky here in, uh, in right field. Ball gets away. And Cage McCumber's on his horse. He will get into second base, and that will take off the double play possibility. Ball three, and Cage ain't going to go here. Ethan Brascoop on deck for the Warhawks. That's in there. Cage thought he was walking, but instead he's just walking back to bat. Three balls and a strike. And now it's a full count, three and two. Fader finds the strike zone. Stacy trying to find the ball. Three balls, two strikes on Cade. That's strike three. Fader comes back with a big strikeout, and there's one down here in the top of the fourth. Here comes Ethan Brascoop stepping into bat. Mm -hmm. 
Rasku makes contact into the outfield. That falls. Cage McCumber on his horse. Cage McCumber rounding third. He scores. And Brascoop is going to have to head back to first, I would say. Ethan Brascoop, an RBI single, 7-3 Warhawks. And here comes Jackson Norton, 0 for 1, popped out back in the second. Ball gets away. And Brascoop steals second base. Warhawks have a runner in scoring position. Upstairs. <laughs> Lily Barnes, Rosana Gete Lahash, due up for the Hawks here. Norton hits this one off the edge of the bat and gets through to the outfield. They're going to send Raskoop home. Ethan Brascoop coming down. Ethan Brascoop scores. <laughs> RBI single for Jackson Norton. 8 3 Warhawks, and now there are no steals for Gunawage. Five run lead. Ball one. Lily Barnes 0 for 1 tonight, or today I should say. Not used to them playing these early morning games. Upstairs, 2 0 on Barnes. 8 3 Warhawks on top here. Two runs into the top of the fourth. That's in there. 2 and 1 on Barnes. The 2-1 to Lily. Ball gets away and it's three balls and a strike. Rosena Gete Lahash on deck. That's a full count now, three and two as that one finds the strike zone. Ball four, and Barnes draws a walk. And Rosanagete Lahash comes in. He represents what would be the fifth run. 8-3, Gunawage on top. Swung on and missed. Lahash and Nashton Mayo do up for the Warhawks. Swung on and missed again, and it's nothing in two. Fade has got Rosanagete on his toes here. And Lahash fouls this one off, staying alive in the count. Off the plate, one and two. Nashton Mayo on deck for the Warhawks. And Lahash stays alive at the at-bat, fouling this one back to the Warhawks bench area. The one-two. 
that nearly plunked him. It's an even count now, two balls, two strikes. One down here in the top of the fourth inning. And Lahas misses this one, that's strike three, and there are two down. So here's Nashton Mayo, one for one with a single and a run scored. Warhawks eight, Yankees three. Strike one. Nashton lays off the high stuff. It's one and one. Two down here in the top of the fourth. Warhawks with two runners on, two runners in. Two pitches into Nashton Mayo. It's one and one. Now it's two and one. Jordan Norton, the leadoff batter, is on deck. Mayo swings over the top, and it's an even count, two and two. And it's a full count on Mayo, three balls, two strikes. That's strike three. They call it on the outside corner. We're headed to the bottom of the fourth. Warhawks score 2 8 3. Gotthawagi leading. Welcome back to the bottom of the fourth. New pitcher for the Warhawks. There you see her. Casey Delaboost. Show face Carter Roy, Matteo Rambola, and then Matthew Markov. That's hit well into deep center. Lahash makes the catch. One pitch, one out. And here's Matteo Rambola who singled back in the bottom of the second and scored a run. 8 3, Warhawks leading. There's ball one. One down, nobody on here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's an 8-3 lead for the Warhawks against the West Island Yankees, or the Pierrefall Yankees, sorry. Winners of the Lac St. Louis section, or the on-island section, if you will, swung on and missed. Warhawks, of course, winning the off-island section. 13-2 over St. Lazar Red in the semis the other night. The Yankees 5-4 uh, win over the West Island Red Sox. Foul back and that's strike two on Rambola. Stacy at second. Jackson Norton on first. Gabriel at short, Cage McCumber at third, I believe. Torn behind home plate, the one two. Hit well, and that's gonna get it to left field. Mayo mishandles it. And he's gonna stand in, Rambola Will at second base with a double. So here's Matthew Markov. Stepping into bat with one out. Eight three Warhawks leading. Off the plate. 
Joran staring down Rambola, and Rambola's not going to go okay. Remember, Joran threw out or picked off a runner at first base when there was runners on first and second, no less, in that uh, round of 12 win over the Shadagi Blue Sox. That was the last out the Blue Sox recorded. Off the plate. Now the runner's going. And the Yankees have a runner on third with one down. Markov has singled. One for one on the day. This is his second at bat. Off the plate. inside and it misses and the Yankees now have two runners on for Poulain. Charles Poulain 0 for 1 has an RBI and a sacrifice grounder. Ball one in the dirt and now there's runners on second and third. Two runners in scoring position for the Yankees. Here's the pitch. Hit well into shallow center. That's going to drop. Lahash bobbles it, and the Yankees have scored two runs, and this makes it an 8-5 to five game. A two-run double for Charles Poulet, and it's now 8-5. So here's Lucas Dauth, 0 for 1, struck out back in the bottom of the second inning. Douth ahead of this one, nothing in one. And now the runner's going. And Poulet will decide to retreat back to second base. Ball gets away, and now the runner's going to throw down the third baseline. It's dropped. I think he would have beaten it anyway, though. Good hustle by Poulet, and the Yankees have a runner on third with one out. Swung on and missed. 0 and 2 on the batter. 1 and 2, I should say, on Douth. Lucas Douth stepping in here with one out. Runner on third base. What? 2 and 2 off the plate. Kofsky on deck. Kofsky on deck. The Alessandro Kofsky, 0 for 1. Sorry, no official at bats. He walked in the second. Got him swinging. Strike three, and there's two down. So here comes Ryan, the Alessandro Kofsky, into bat. Two runs in for the Yankees in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Ronnie Stacy will call a little meeting with the uh, pitcher and catcher. Eight to five, Gahnawagi with two outs and a runner on third base. And in to bat 
Iskovsky. He walked back in the bottom of the second inning. Two runs in for the Yanks. The best they could do after this inning is tie it. The worst they could do is not get on here. Top of the lineup coming up for the Hawks in the top of the fifth. That's 1-0 oh now on Kofsky. The 1-0. -oh. Swung on and missed. And it's an even count. One ball, one strike. Casey Delaboost, 1-1. Outside and it's two and one on Kofsky. Three and one. And William Moray on deck for the Yankees. Will he get a chance to bat in this inning? Strike three, I think. Nope, two. Got ahead of ourselves here. Full count, three and two. Let's see if it's for real this time. The three, two count on. Kofsky. A full count offering. Got him! Strike three called. The Yankees scored two. It's 8-5 Warhawks heading into the top half of the fifth inning. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Top of the fifth, Warhawks eight, and the Pierre Fall Yankees five. Fade is in here for his second inning of work going up against the top of the lineup. So Joran, Jada, Casey. And it's quickly 2 0 on Joran Norton. The other night in that game against St. Lazar, when he jumped over, outweighted and jumped over the catcher's tag, I gave him the nickname Air Joran. And it looks like it's kind of stuck here because his mom was calling him that prior to the game. They always say you have to have an announcer or someone else give you a nickname, right? And quickly, it's 3-0 on Norton. It is 3-0. That's in there. Caught the inside corner, three and one the count. And Norton fouls this one off. It's a full count now on Joran, three and two. Joran, one for two. He's singled and grounded out. He's also scored a run. And don't forget, if he gets on base, the stolen bases portion is back in here. That's ball four, so Norton's aboard, and it's a leadoff walk. And Norton can run, that's for sure. It's an 8-5 game, so they can take advantage for at least two runs if they're able to get them here. And the Yankees are going to make a pitching change. Fade is out. And instead, they're going to hand the ball off to William Bager. He's going to come in and pitch the fifth. Warhawks leading 8-5. Runner on first base. Bager in to pitch against Jaden Norton, Casey Delaboost, and Rustin Dahoe Gabriel. Norton off the edge of the bat to short. Jordan safe! 
He beats it out. And Norton's taking off the third. And he'll get in there. And Jada's going. She's in at second. Runners on second and third for the Warhawks. And here's Casey Delaboost. Air Jordan also showing a little bit of horsepower there. As is Jada. That's strike one on Casey Delaboost. Delaboost is one for two. Three RBIs hit a three run triple back in the top half of the third inning. Off the plate, even count one ball, one strike. Rustin Dahoe, Gabriel on deck for the Warhawks. Ball two. Ball three. And now it's three and one on Casey Delaboost. First base is open. Will it be occupied here? Bagers 3 1. Hit off the edge of the bat and fouled, and now we've got a full count here 3 and 2. The 3 2 pitch. That's strike three at the knees, one out. And here comes Rustin Dahoe Gabriel. Major <laughs> against Gabriel. Strike one on Rustin Dahoe Gabriel. Cage McCumber on deck. 8-5 Warhawks, top of the fifth. That's fouled and it's nothing at two here on Gabriel. Ball one. One and two on Gabriel. Two runners aboard for the Warhawks and there's one out. Off the edge of the bat towards third. Now they're gonna have to throw it home. He scores! Now Norton's going to third. And now she's gonna head home. Gabriel's on his horse, and it gets by! And Rustin Dahoe, Gabriel scores! Three runs in, it's 11-5, Warhawks! The bases are empty, three runs are in, it's 11-5 Warhawks. That's not exactly how we've seen Rustin Dahoe Gabriel hit a home run this year, but they'll take it. So Jory Norton, Jaden Norton, and Rustin Dahoe Gabriel all score. It's 11-5 Gahanawagi leading. Strike one to Cage McCumber. Ball one. Thank you. 
One one on Cage McCumber. Three runs in for the Warhawks. They lead this one 11 to five. Cage watches this one go by. It's two and one. Cage Stacy on deck for the Warhawks. That's strike two at the knees, and we've got an even count, two and two. Inside, and we've got a full count on Cage, three and two. Ball four. So Cage, Stace, Cage McCumber draws his second walk of the game. Cade Stacy is on deck. He is one for two, struck out looking back in the top half of the fourth. And the Yankees are going to gather up for another presser here. Welcome back to the top of the fifth. Three runs in for the Warhawks, one out, and Cade Stacy at bat against Bajor. Stacy fouls this one off, 0 and 1. Kahnawagi leading this one by a score of 11 to 5. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Cade watches strike two go by. And Major get out of this inning. Warhawks have scored three to take a six-run lead, which is their largest of the game. Stacy sends this one to short. It gets through into the hole in the outfield. The throw to third gets by, and runners are on second and third for the Hawks. So here's Ethan Brascoop with one out. Brascoop tonight, one for two with a single, a stolen base, and a run scored. He's also hit into a grounder. And foul tips this one back for strike one. Eleven five, 5 Gonhawagi over the Pierre Fall Yankees. Upstairs. The two lead runners also represent runners number four and number five of this inning. There's one out. Brasco sends a shot. Fair ball down the third baseline. One run scores. Kate Stacy being waved around. And the Warhawks have maxed out here in the top half of the fifth. Ethan Brascoop hits a two-run double. And Gonhawage leads it 13 to 5, heading get to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Baby Blue Memories.
Welcome back, bottom of the fifth, 13-5 Warhawks, and there's strike one to William Moray leading things off here for the Yankees in the bottom of the fifth. The one upstairs, and we've got a 1-1 one -one count on Moray. Moray, Palladini, and Moore to bat here in the bottom of the fifth. Two and one now on Moray. Casey Delaboost on the mound. Jaden Norton's moved the first. Kate Stacy second. Rustin Agate is in center still. Rustin Dahoey at short. Clay Brasscoop has moved to third. And it's three and one now the count on Moray. And Jackson Norton warming up to our left here in the Warhawks bullpen. Hoping to get an opportunity to close this game. The 3-1. Strike two. Full count on William Moray. One down here in the bottom of the fifth. Back to the top of the lineup with Palladini. He's 0 for 2, has grounded out twice. 13-5, Warhawks leading. On the ground. Played by the third baseman, the throw to first. Not in time. Palladini beats it out. And now the runner's going. And it's a double for Palladini. And Nico Palladini's on second base with a double. So here's Moore, and Anthony Moore is one for two. On the ground to third. And runners are now on first and second. And it goes into the outfield. And the Yankees score one, it's 13-6. And here's Julian Feta. Thirteen six. One run in for the Yankees here in the bottom of the fifth. Next inning's the last one. Runner on third base for the Yankees with one out. Fade at the dish. Fade watch his ball too. A uh, little blunder by the Warhawks defensively puts the Yankees within seven. And now they have a runner on third with one out. 
Hit well to short. That gets through in the outfield. It's a base hit. RBI base hit for Feta, and it's now 13 to 7. So, and here's William Bajer. Two runs in for the Yankees. With Bajer stepping into bat. Foul back, nothing in one the count. Here's the pitch. Ball gets away. Jordan Norton picks it up. The throw down is. Runner on second base with one down. Two runs in for the Yankees here. It's 13-7 Warhawks. Leading the Pierrefall Yankees. Bottom of the fifth. On the ground. Off of Jada's leg. The throw to first. Safe. They throw it back to third, and it gets by. And the Yankees have scored again. It's 13 to 8. Come on, guys. And here comes Duhame representing what would be the fifth run. And the Warhawks making a pitching change, and Jackson Norton's going to come in now to try and get a five-out save. 13-8 Warhawks, bottom of the fifth. In comes Jackson Norton here in the bottom of the fifth to take on William Duhame. 0 for 2 has lined out and struck out. Runner on second. Duhame represents what would be the fifth run of the inning. Strike one. And Jackson Norton, the Warhawks' designated closer, has come in here to try and record a five-out save to take the Warhawks to the promised land. Ball one. Carter Roy's on deck for the Yankees. One and two on Duhaim. This would be a critical second out, too. The Yankees could score two more, two more here, and then they would max out. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Second out. And here comes Carter Roy. 0 for 2 has flown out twice. Once to left, once to center. That's where he put Russell Nagete Lahash to the test earlier. So he's got to be on his toes here. Swung on and missed. Strike one on Roy. To shore, that's going to find a hole at the center field. Rosanagetti knocks it down. And the Yankees are now within four. It's 13 to nine. And Mateo Rambola will step in. He is two for two on the day. Run number five standing at first base. Ball one. <laughs> On the ground to first. And it gets through. And no one there for the Hawks. They hit him. 
That hit him, I think. That hit the runner going from first to second. Or no, there's interference possibly. He's out. That hit him. That's the rule in the book. Top six we go. Warhawks 13, Yankees 9. Warhawks are three runs away from a regional championship. Top six we go. We welcome you to the top of the open inning here at the 2021 Lac St. Louis Regional Championships. It's 13 to 9. U13B Warhawks over the Pierrefall Yankees. There's strike one in there on Jackson Norton. Norton, Barnes, and Lahash, the three who are due up for Gahnawage in this top half of the sixth. Second inning of work for William Bager, 46 in blue. And that's fouled, and it's nothing at two on Jackson Norton. Norton today is one for two. He's singled and he's popped out, and most importantly, he will be coming in in the bottom of the sixth to try and send the Warhawks to the Provincials. The 0-2 to Norton. Ball one. Lily Barnes is on deck. She's 0 for 1 with a walk. Hit well into left field. Jackson Norton rounding first, heading to second base. Oh, and he's barely in there. Good throw from left field, but Jackson Norton has a leadoff double. And Lily Barnes will come into bat right now. Barnes 0 for 1, she's struck out and she's walked. Barnes swings and misses, strike one. Don't forget, steals are back on here because it's a four-run gap. In the dirt. That's in there, they say, at the knees, and it's nothing at two on Barnes. Rosana Gete Lahash is on deck. Strike three. One down. Runner on second, and Rosa Negeti Lahash is coming up to bat. Lahash is one for two. He singled and scored and also struck out. Second strikeout for Bajer. Strike one on Lahash. And that ball hit him. I think they're going to have to send Jackson back to second because they hit Russell and they get the right in the back of the leg. And he is uh, in a little bit of pain. That got him right in the back of the, the shin or the ankle. Runners on first and second, so Lahash will step out and Barnes will come in his place to run. And here's Nashton Mayo. Mayo today one for two. He singled and scored and he is also struck out. 13-9 Warhawks, top of the open inning. Mayo fouls this one off. Good contact, nothing in one.
Here's the 0-1 to Nash Mayo. Strike two at the knees, and it's 0-2 on Nashton. Jordan Norton on deck with one out and two runners on. And fouled off. Good work here by Nashton. Thirteen to nine, Warhawks leading. Mayo hits this one. It gets through to the outfield. Runners going home. Nasted Mayo with an RBI. Lily Barnes is on third. 14-9, Don Milwaukee leads. And here comes Doran Norton. 14-9, Warhawks. Norton today has walked, scored two runs, and is one for two officially. No steals for Gunnawage because the five-run lead is restored. Jory gets a hold of this one. At second, they throw. They get the run out, and Jordan comes across and touches first. Lily Barnes scores. And it's an RBI for Jordan. 15-9 Warhawks. And here is Jada Norton, three for three with three runs scored. She is single twice and she has doubled. Ball one, just missed the outside corner. Two outs here in the top half of the open inning. Hit well to third. There's a throw to second in time, and that is going to do it for the top half of the open inning. The Warhawks add another two, and they have a 15-9 to lead. Yankees down to the last three outs. Jackson Norton trying to complete the save and send the Warhawks to the promised land. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to the Park Bedard open inning Warhawks 15, Yankees 9. Markov is coming in to bat against Jackson Norton. That's 1 0. Matthew Markov today, 1 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. 15 9, Ganhawagi leading. Ball 2. Kate Stacy's at second. Jaden Norton first. Rustin Dahoe Gabriel short. Looks like Cage is at third. 2-0 the count on Markov. Yeah! Strike one, and it's 2-1. Shout Poulet and Lucas Douth on deck for the Yankees. Hit well, over the glove of Gabriel. Lahash scoops it up, and it is a leadoff single for Pierre Fall. And Charles Poulain will step into bat. He is one for two with an RBI. Swung on and missed. That's strike one. 0-1 on Poulain. Oh. 
Inside! One and one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. On the ground to third and fouled. And now it's one and two the count on Charles Poulain. Upstairs. Two and two on Poulain. Runner on first base. Zero outs. Warhawks 15, Yankees 9. Swung on and missed, and that's one down. And Lucas Daouth will step into bat. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Daouth, the lefty. One out here in the bottom half of the open inning. 59 Warhawks. Strike one on the outside corner on Lucas Daouth. On deck for the Yankees is Ryan D'Alessandro Kofsky. He's 1 for 2, or 0 for 1 with a walk. On the ground. Cade Stacey can't get it. It gets through. And now the runner's going to third. Oh! He's out at third base with a second out. And now stepping into bat for the Yankees. <laughs> stepping into bat here for the Pierre Fall Yankees is Kofsky. He's 0 for 2 on the night. 15-9 Warhawks leading. Ball one. Gonawagi in red. Kofsky the batter for the Yankees. 1 and 0 count. 15 9, Warhawks leading. <laughs> 2 0. The lead runner just got thrown out trying to stretch second base into third. Runner is on first base. There are two outs here in the top half of the open inning. Two outs. Strike two. And the Warhawks are one strike away from moving on to the Provincials and taking home the regional championship. Jackson Norton's one two pitch to Kofsky. Oh, and Kofsky has to dive out of the way. Two balls, two strikes. I believe it's two strikes. The pitch to Kofsky. Now the runner's going. It's a walk. No, it's not a walk. They're telling him to go back. That's a strike. Strike two. So the Yankees are down to their last strike. Stolen base for the Yankees. Two outs. Jackson's 2-2 pitch. And that's a ball. And the Yankees have two runners on. Oh 
15-9 Warhawks, William Moray stepping into bat. Moray, 0 for 2 on the day. Strike one on Moray. 59 Gahnawagi leading. There is two down. U 13B matchup. Gahnawagi one out away from the promised land. Ball one, and it's one and one the count on Moray. Fifteen to nine, Warhawks leading the Pier Fall Yankees here in the bottom half of the open inning. The one-one pitch misses outside, and it's two balls and a strike. Jackson Norton sets. Moray is zero for two on the day. Two runners on for the Yankees. Fouled back, and once again, the Pierrefonds Yankees are down to their last strike. 15 to 9. Warhawks and Yankees. And Pierrefonds is down to their last strike. The 2 2 pitch. For all the marbles. And we've got a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Three balls, two strikes. The Warhawks lead at 15 to 9. The 3 2 pitch. Since 2014 has happened, the Gunawaki Warhawks are regional champions. The Warhawks are regional champions. 59 over the Pierre Fall Yankees. It's been a long seven years, and you know what? It might last another two hours because our U-15s are coming up next. The U-13 Warhawks are the champions of Lac St. Louis for 2021. Yay! And 15-9, Gahnawagi leaded, lead, winning. What a great season. These two teams played in the regular year. Pierre Fall won 12-3, but obviously a different Warhawks team here. And the Yankees will win the silver medal. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Coming out, winning the Montreal Island of this uh, region. But the Gunawagi Warhawks have won the gold medal. And there is your game MVP, Jaden Norton. Absolutely difficult to dispute that. And there we are. And we've got two more games here, folks. The U15s will play Sulaj next at 1 o'clock. And the U18s will also be playing against Sulaj later on in the day, both here at this field. As the Yankees will take their silver medals. 
And you know what? Pierre Fall was actually, actually ran the table until about the last couple of weeks of the season in the, the Lac St. Louis division. The Montreal Island portion. The Warhawks played in that division this year. Silver medal being awarded. There's uh, Julian Feta. And there is William Bajer. He played well tonight for the Yankees. And you know what? We're going to take this camera down to field level. When's the last time you heard that one, Chad? <laughs> Two more times. <laughs> oh, you did that, eh? <laughs> Thank you. There you see a very worthy silver medalists wearing the blue, black, and, and white. Yankees ran the table actually till about the last two weeks of the season when they had some key players missing, but still uh, definitely a worthy team and definitely worthy of winning the Montreal portion of this region. And now time for the off-island champs and the regional champs. Ronnie Stacy's troops started the year three and four Losing a 15-12 decision to the West Island Red Sox, which put them below 500, and then the Warhawks closing out as here's Lily Barnes, 26 in red, getting a gold medal. Kate Stacy, number seven. I think this is just one of three games, folks. The U15s and U18s coming up next. Let's hope that weather cooperates as Rosanagete Lahas comes out there. He had a th three and two thirds inning, innings of magical work in that game against Mercier. Casey Delaboos taking home a gold medal. Rustin Dahoe Gabriel, who became an internet sensation, hitting the park outside the home run at the hospital ball field. Hitting the ball outside of the stadium. Ethan Braskoop, what a regionals this kid had, hitting 700 during the regionals. Jackson Norton, the closer, recorded the last five outs on the game today. Jaden Norton, today's game MVP, earning the win on the mound. Cage McCumber played third, short, right, and just about everywhere this year. Even started a couple of games on the mound. Nashton Mayo. The 90-year-old has a championship at the U13 level. How about that? And a couple of clutch RBIs in the open inning. And how about Jordan Norton? Hit everywhere in the lineup this year and found a permanent spot behind the plate. Assistant coaches, Amy Markry. Connor Stacy. <laughs> and Corey Dybo. <laughs> and uh, head coach Ronnie Stacy. Ronnie getting the gold medal. Ronnie Stacy, another gold medal. That's going to do it here. And we got two more games. Join us at 1 o'clock when the U15 Warhawks play against Sioux Lounge. And you know what? We're going to get the little ceremonial jog around the field here. 
Here you see the silver medalists and. So, uh, Philip, William Major, and Nico, come. Very valid silver medalist here, the Yankees, who we said before won the Montreal Championship. And here's the Warhawks. If we have to do this three times, my battery's not lasting the day. Come on, guys, make it look good. This is going on minor baseball's page. Come on. But what if the other two teams win? <laughs> Come on, you want a regional championship here. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I'm trying to really squat here to give you guys a little help, but I'm not even that tall anyway, so. One more, hang on, here we go. Great job, guys. Oh, yeah. Jog that thing. 